Next, BART is rolling out an ambitious plan to overhaul one of its biggest problem areas, those notoriously unreliable rickety escalators. KPI X5's Wilson Walker live in San Francisco with the $100 million fix. Wilson. Well, it is a notoriously widespread problem. We're at Civic Center BART here, and this escalator, which was immobile for most of the day, is now running again. I think they're trying to get this one operational for the evening descent into the BART station. Now, this is, of course, a problem that has been around for a long time, and fixing it, well, that is going to take some time as well. Oh, no, it's, it's all over the city. It's, it happens way too often. A site so familiar, you may not even give it a second look, unless, of course, it causes some real physical hardship for you. You know, my legs get all tight when I'm walking up the stairs. They're always out. They're always out. And while out-of-service escalators are something of a running joke among some BART passengers, Others might say those immobilized stairways are emblematic of Bart's struggles on the whole. It is, it is wrong, but it, want, it makes you wonder that do they have enough money or, you know, something got to be done about it. Modern escalators are finally coming to downtown San Francisco, and boy, do we need it. Yes, Bart acknowledging that this is long overdue will now spend $96.5 million to tackle a problem that has quite revoltingly, been piling up for years. Who could forget what repair crews found when they tried to fix that Civic Center escalator back in 2012? And when it was dismantled, they found so much human waste that they had to call on the hazmat team. It's a hard environment to keep things going. And the equipment itself hasn't made things any easier. Many of the escalators in the San Francisco stations were manufactured by this German company, but Orenstein and Koppel went kaput not long after these were installed, so replacement parts and maintenance were a problem almost from day one. Starting next year, the constant battle to keep them running will finally come to an end. Rip those out and replace 41 escalators at Embarcadero, Montgomery, Powell, and Civic. New escalators come with a 10-year guarantee designed for more wear, tear, and larger crowds. Only problem, getting them all installed will take seven years. So we're going to stagger it so the impact isn't too much um, at our stations. So six per year uh, with the first ones going into place spring of next year. All right. Uh, in the time that we aired that story, behold, <laughs> the elevator is working. It is this constant battle. Everyone that's been walking by in the last two minutes has sort of been joking about this. Everyone remembers 2012, people using language that we can't use on television to recall that little incident. But obviously a massive project, seven years to replace all of those escalators. It will take a lot of time, but I can assure you that all the folks that are coming through here are kind of exasperated with situations like this and are ready to see this thing uh, kind of head the other direction. We are live in downtown San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.